Long day lay me low. Hello everybody, Jason Bascom here from Unhinged Entertainment, and we are doing uh, Samurai Priest, we're doing Samurai Priest today. Uh, I drew this on a live stream, and uh, it was a lot of fun. I, I Let's just roll it. Alright, so going in with pencil, I usually don't. Uh, I've been playing around with pencil a little bit more beforehand, but when it comes to drawing comic characters, uh, and comics in general, I do prefer to do it, uh, the layouts and uh, the an outline. Uh, digitally so I can get it precise because with comics they have to be precise but this is a fun piece so uh, I could be looser and not as exact with certain elements that I would normally not be able to see uh, with Photoshop I could zoom in and I could draw them the way I should be able to draw them but uh, due to the bad vision uh, things look different whenever I draw it traditionally can't really get in with those fine details that I normally used to be able to but uh, this is a fun loose piece now I did struggle with it the outline I drew, I drew the outline really good. I liked it. It had, it had a, from what I could see anyway, it had great, great energy, great excitement, if you will, uh, and a great flow of movement. And then when I went to go ink it, I, I, I think I strayed a little bit. I even, because I couldn't see the pencil all that well. So it kind of got off kilter a little bit and away from me. And even when I was on the live stream, and I was, I was mentioning to the gentleman, that were on with me uh, that I'm not liking it <laughs> but uh, it did uh, it did work out really well I actually I started I liked it at the end of the process but uh, I went in with the microns the 0.05 and the uh, brush and then I also went in here with a uh, red micron brush to get that red layout because I'm out of my red liquid text ink uh, I normally use like a splatter with liquid text ink and stuff but I just went in with a red micron and made the blood splatters and, and juicy and then I went in with the uh, Posca pen the whiteout Posca pen and did some weird funky lines over top of things added some highlights uh, some wrinkles and the folds and the fabrics and it's not rain but it looks like a rain effect but it it, it kind of gives it a sense of motion and a sense of energy I, I like giving it energy uh, yeah and I you know I know I'm zoomed in crazy amount but uh this way you can't see my beard and my face when I'm drawing because I, I have to be zoomed in a crazy amount to look at the page but it was a lot of fun I did have a, enjoy it and uh, I'm adding some dirt debris like he's flying forward and yeah this is mainly all I would say 80% of this piece is a micron 0.05 maybe 85 I don't know uh, yeah I did use the, the Pentel pocket brush pen I can I can smear the ink with that too I like it it doesn't dry too quickly on this paper and then uh, I cross hatch to my heart's content without having to worry about dip it in a reserve or reservoir, if you were a reservoir, and uh, you know wipe the nib. It, it takes these longer. This actually was a took me a couple hours to do this one in general, but yeah. So it was still fun though. In the end, I was like, oh yeah, I am happy with this, and I will be selling it uh, at, at a show. So if it doesn't sell, it's for available or for me to keep. Fun times, but I love the Samurai Priest and. Uh, so there you have it. There's Samurai Priest from Absolute Absolute Trade currently on Indiegogo. Uh, just extended the campaign. So back it today, though. Back it today. Get that funded. Help us out. And uh, I will leave you with the trailer. Thank you once again for watching, and have a great one. Absolute. Pick up the trade that combines books one and two into one epic glorious volume of black and white indie goodness. Dive into the story of a lone bounty hunter who gets thrust into a war he didn't ask for to take back the planet from the evil Andi overlords and become the hero he never knew he could be. Back at today.